What's up guys, Cut Protagonist here, and welcome to another Gear Chronicle deck profile on my next stage deck, but this time it's gonna be a timely build. Basically this build is much more budget, okay most of you guys were thinking, damn it you got 4 next stage, what kind of budget? Alright, this deck is much more budget because you don't focus so much on next stage, but instead you focus a lot on the trial deck card, which is uh, Metallica Phoenix. This deck is able to draw you huge hand size and do many combo attacks like Arco Force. So if you guys are fans of those kind of decks, this deck is for you. And you can and you can feel like Chrono Shindo! Because you can like sack crits. But however, this deck plays the stand trigger, and there's a very very good reason why I play the stand. The stand is part of this whole deck mechanic, and I will explain how the deck works right now. Alright, first we play four copies of Chrono Jet Dragon. Well, to be honest, nowadays no Gear Chronicle can work without Crojet Dragon because it's a GB deck, aka Generation Break deck. So, Crojet, when you perform Stride on it, so when you strike on all of these cards, you can counter blast one and send back one card, uh, one card on your opponent's rearguard circle back to the bottom of their deck. So, give them a minus one and a counter blast one. So, very nice. It's similar to uh, Blade Master skill. Second ability is the top ability, the GB2 ability, is when you have two face up cards on the G zone. When this card attacks the Vanguard, your opponent cannot guard with grade 1 and it gains a spike power. Very strong because if you combo it with the next stage, it is a very very high chance you're going to finish off your opponent because the second attack can't be perfect guarded. So it's very very powerful and again it plus 5k. So the opponent will probably be dropping a lot of hand cards or otherwise lose the game because he can't guard. Alright, next is 4 copies of... Steam, Steam Fighter um, Balif. Alright, Balif, very very strong card. But this card effect is when you perform strike, you can counter blast one and search your deck for a Chrono Jet and put it and replace it with its heart and you shuffle it back to the uh, put it at the bottom of the deck. So this card is very very good because basically it allows you to guarantee right your Chrono Jet Dragon so they get both the next stage combos, your um, Metallica Phoenix combos. Because it requires you to have, have um, Chrono Jet in the heart. So this deck is really, really consistent because you'll be guaranteed riding Chrono Jet. And yeah. Um, I, and I, of course, I need to say I wish Ultimao and all the other Ashas have this card. Give it to us, Bushy Road. We need it. Alright, next is 4 copies of History Maker Dragon. Um, I believe the trial deck gives you 2 copies. So you need, basically this deck is very, it's quite budget. You get 2 trial decks. And a, a few cards which is actually very very cheap. These cards are kind of um, not very hype in the GB GB5 series. His ability is um, when this unit attacks the Vanguard, doesn't need to be boosted. You can counter blast one and perform a time leap on one of your rear guards. So you can perform it on your uh, on your great tools to do additional attack great tree, or you can uh, perform it onto your um, the key combo is this card with is with. The stand trigger. Stand trigger ability is when this card is being um, binded in the bind zone for a time leap, you can shuffle, draw two cards and put one of them into the bottom deck. So you're basically getting one free card and shuffling him back to the deck. So it's really good because when you time leap him, you can go up to go into our best wife, best gear character waifu, uh, Mal Malin. I believe her name is Malin, Steam Girl Malin, and you can do. And attack with her again and then get the back again, then time leap again, get all those three cards for free. So this is a very 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 important card in the time leap deck. So play four copies. Next is four. Uh, Clock Fencer Dragon. Clock Fencer, when this card is placed on the regard circle from your hand, unfortunately you won't be able to call it from your deck, otherwise you'll be very 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 broken. Um you can time leap one unit. So yep, call it, time leap your your stand triggers into I keep forgetting the name, the Steam Maiden Malin. I just call it Malin for now, okay? Um, call, um, and draw three cards. Very good cards. And just in case you don't get your Malin out, you can actually just time leap your, your triggers, any of your triggers to Malin. Malin downgrade herself into the trigger. So it's very, very consistent, this deck. And three copies of Upstream Dragon. Upstream is. The reason why you play Upstream is because you can use him to tutor into cards you need. Yeah. So, yeah. When this unit attacks the Vanguard, it gains plus 4k. You can gain you can gain 4k power if you do. At the end of the battle, you can search a deck for Great One and call it to Rare Guard Circle at rest. So you can call Steam Girl. 
Cause Steam Girl so that next turn you can use her skill and and become the stand trigger. So yeah, this deck is very too boxy. So it's a very very nice deck to play. And I tried I tried it today and it was really really fun. Play tested with some of my friends. Next is the MVP of the deck, Steam Girl Merlin. Yeah. Her ability is when this unit attacks the Vanguard, so she can't be boosted. I mean, she can't boost. I mean, she can boost, but when it boosts, you don't get a skill. When this unit attacks the Vanguard, it gains a 4k power. Very, very good because it becomes 11k power, which is able to solo the Vanguard. And then at the end of the battle, you can search your deck for a grade 0 rearguard and call it to your rearguard circle at rest. So, you'll be constantly be doing the doing this combo to to tutor out your stand trigger so that you can timely hit to draw a card, timely draw a card. I'll be doing a combo right later, right later on, so be sure to stay tuned. Four copies because it's the card of the combo. Next is four copies of the perfect guards. Very beautiful card because she's the she's the best perfect guard. She's the reason why Chrono lives. Yeah. Four copies of Strike Helper. Basically when this card's caught to the Red Guard Circle you can search for this Sean Great Tree search for Chrono Jet and and discount card and this guy also helps you to discard for your strike so very important since this deck is a strike deck gotta play it four copies of the heal triggers and oh, sorry the crit trigger very very good because crit for days means crit wins games ability is when a um, Chrono Jet Vanguard attack you can put this card in the soul draw one card and the Chrono Jet gains us 5k power. So it's good you can get additional cards into your hand just in case you need it. Next is the four copies of the stand trigger. Unfortunately, it's not a crit. If it's crit, it's gonna be OP as F. Um, ability is counter blast. Uh, no, sorry. When this card is sent from the regard circle to your bind zone, you can look. You can shuffle. Uh, you can draw two cards and and put one card back into the deck, and then shuffle him back to your deck. Very very good card. Let's just put it at the bottom deck, but who cares? Basically, the mo the main ability is basically give you free cards. Alright, next is the draw 4 draw triggers, because draws are still pretty important in the deck. Uh, and it's a Margo clone, so you can gain a 3k power to fix your magic numbers. And one, um, sorry, and 4 heal triggers, because heals are the best. Gotta play heals. And 1 copy of TikTok guy. No, that was the ability. I want nobody, no idea what his name. The ability is... When I want to your rear attacks, you can put this guy into the soul and time lead that unit at the end of the attack. Yeah, so if you're... If this guy is boosted and he attacks, you can time lead it and you can draw three cards. So yeah, this deck is really, really, really fun to play and really, really strong. Oh, I forgot to explain the two cards here. Basically, you just she's just there because you want to... You, you, basically, you just want to draw three cards since this deck doesn't use any soul blast. So we're gonna soul blast two and draw one free card. Pretty awesome. And just in case your opponent plays those pesky great zero starter, you can always tilt out with your time leap. So yeah. Now for the strikes, two copies of Metallica Phoenix. Um, you might want to bump. You can bump it to three or. But for me, two is fine because most of the time I do the combo two times. I got uh, I got a lot of hand size. And then I'll just finish off my opponents with next stage. Metallica Phoenix skill. When this unit attacks the Vanguard and you have a Chrono Jet. Chrono Jet Dragon Heart, you may uh, flip one copy of a G Circles face up, so you can flip any cards face up. Most of the time, I flip these two cards, the Rare card and Chronos, the Chronos Command card. These are just fuelers basically, and then perform timely on one card on one card on your field. So most likely, I'm gonna be time leaping onto the stand trigger to get more free cards and get my lane out. Yeah. Uh, next is one copy of Cannoneer. One of the very very budget cards. Um, if you guys don't use Chrono Jet, you can use this card. It's really it's like a dollar per piece. So yeah, budget. Next is four Chrono Jet next stage. Um, it's not really necessary. Uh, the few recommendations I can make is you can play more of these, or you can play Ragnar Clock. Ragnar Clock is still a very good finisher. If your opponent doesn't have perfect guard, you're screwed. So yeah, one Chrono's command when attack hits, you can so blast. So plus one and come plus two, discard one card of your hand and then send back all cards of your opponent's field. So it's good pressure, but most of the time I'll be uh, flipping it up for the Metallica Phoenix skill. So yeah, so let me go on to the combos right now. Rawr.
Alright, so let us go on to our new combo which is called the multi-attack draw engine combo. This deck combo allows you to do 6 attacks. Whoa, 6. Yeah, so similar to Aqua Force. And allows you to draw a lot of cards. Yeah, if drawing 3 additional cards is considered good, it is damn good, okay? Alright, so first, um, the field consists of 1 History Maker Dragon so that you can do your time leap. 1 copy of the stand trigger. You could do it with the the Malev, but it takes a, it would be a different step. The most efficient one would be the stand trigger. It's very easy. Alright. And one copy of your starter, which is guaranteed to be there. Yeah. And first, we need to stride. Alright. Strido generation into Metallica Phoenix. You can activate your Chrono Jet skill if you want to. So you eat additional Count Blast. Otherwise, let's say we don't use this skill. <clears throat> Alright. The combos goes like this. First attack. The stand trigger boosted, 9k attack. So, yeah. Um, so, when you can attack a rear guard nine, with a 9k column, 5 plus 4 equals 9. Attack nine, uh, 9k, 5k guard. So, let's say your opponent guards for 5k. That's 5k guard. Activate skill. After a uh, unit attacks, you can put in so and time beat that unit. So, time beat this guy into Malay. So, his skill. Look at the top two cards of the deck, draw two, and then put one into basically shuffle back to your deck. So I'm just gonna put one here. It's one draw. There's a plus one. Alright, next we're gonna attack with my left. My left skill, um, game plus 4k power. So your opponent will be guarding for 5k. Another 5k guard. And then your opponent, and then its skill, if you game plus 4k power, you can become a great zero. So. Shuffle back, to the, go back to the deck, become a great zero in rest position, so you won't be able to attack anymore. Right. Next, we attack with Metallica Phoenix. Skill. Flip up a copy of one G zone card, so I flip up a copy of Colossal Titus. Face up. And then I can perform time leap, so I'll be time leaping this guy again. So go back to your deck. His skill. Time leap, come out. My left. Uh, draw two, send back one. Oh, perfect card, sweet. Send back to the deck. So we already drew two cards for free, just like that. All right, next is our triple drive. So triple drive one, two, three, for example. That's five cards, and the opponent will probably have to guard for at least twenty five k guard. So twenty five k for two pass. Five k two pass. Alright, next we attack with uh, Malef again, skill, send herself back into the deck, come out as rest, so that's another 5k guard, because it's an 11k attacker again, so yeah, so that's 15k, now attack with History Maker Dragon, counter blast 1, so that's, you've, that's when you finally use a 1 counter blast, skill, time leap, to the deck, and then his skill, Draw two cards and add one to the bottom of that again. So that's six cards. Alright, time leap come up again. So this is probably gonna be another 10k guard. Because this is a 16k column. Now Malev attack again. Another 5k guard. Yeah. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, correct. It's another 5k guard, so for example, 5k. So yeah, that's the whole combo. Basically, you gain 3, uh, other than a triple drive with 3 cards, you get another 3 cards in your hand, which is freaking amazing. It could be a perfect guard or anything. So yeah, that's the whole combo of the deck. So let's see how much it got. So 10k guard, 20k guard, 30k guard, 35k, 45k, 55k guard, and... In addition of get, getting a huge hand size, after she attacks, she go back to the combo piece again. So next turn, you can strike Metallica Phoenix again and do the combo all over again. If they were to attack this, it's fine because with so much draw power, you probably drew drew into another one copy of this. And you you can still do the combo. Right? Um, the the combo of get um using this is because you still have the TikTok worker. Once you have you run out of TikTok workers, she could do the job as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my deck profile on my. Um, Gear Chronicle Time Leap deck. 
Be sure to add me on Facebook and subscribe if you really enjoy my videos. Peace out and love you guys. Rawr.